So this is true for essentially every food in the grocery store. So why don't we just start with basics here and just tell us what is a GMO and how do you, how do you create them? Well, as you said, it's abbreviation for genetically modified organisms. And, you know, the term isn't really so useful for advancing discussions about sustainable agriculture. And that's because the term seems to me means something different to everyone. And the Food and Drug Administration has stated that it's scientifically meaningless. And that's because everything we eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, has been genetically altered in some manner. And so, for an example, some foods have been developed through a process of chemical or irradiation mutagenesis, which introduced random changes in the genome. Some are developed through conventional breeding or hybridization. And genetic engineering is a technique where you can take a gene from any species and put it into a plant. So you could take a gene from a virus, for example, and put it into a plant. So, so what you're saying is something I've known for a while, but it's good to hear it just sort of out of the horse's mouth here, that you, you know, we've been modifying organisms ever since the dawn of agriculture, mm -hmm. and, right? There, there are no herds of wild milk cows wandering the countryside. They, we invented a cow for our purposes to get meat and to get milk. And, and we, we cultivate, we use the word cultivate, but it's really you're genetically changing corn from whatever cavemen ate to these big old sticks of corn that we now munch on. So this is true for essentially every food in the grocery store. Yeah, that's correct. And genetic engineering and a, another approach, genome editing, these are more modern tools, but we've been, it's been about 10,000 years of history and there's been changes along the way. Mendel discovered the genetic basis of inheritance. Um, farmers started mixing two species together through grafting. Uh, there's mutagenesis, hybridization. So there's many different types of techniques and genetic engineering has been around for 40 years um, and is one of the newer techniques. So they're, so they're distinguishing genetic engineering, which happens in a laboratory, from the genetic changes that were brought about through uh, crossbreeding and the history of this exercise going back to the dawn of agriculture. Well, that's partly true, but a lot of crops that organic farmers and other farmers grow have been developed in the laboratory. So it's not necessarily a laboratory step. There's not really a scientific reason for excluding genetically engineered crops from organic agriculture, but there's a historical reason.